You know, Bob, uh, some of the characteristics that made him successful is he's, he was always a hard worker. Um, you know, he grew up in a family of seven brothers. He always worked all through junior high and high school, helped his dad with his drywall business. And he was a diligent student, got good grades, and was always committed to the things that he did. You know, first of all, he's very intelligent. I always felt like, you know, interacting with Bob that I learned, I came away learning something. No matter what the topic was, I learned something. Whether And that was not only professionally, but personally. He just had a way of, of, of teaching that I was able to connect with and really understand. When I think about qualities that made him an amazing father, leader, husband, it was his ability to connect with people. He had an amazing ability to make everyone he spoke with feel seen and valued. Over time, people would open up more to him and he built relationships. He developed a trust over the last few years that has been critical to carrying on the company. Bob's greatest strength was connecting with people, listening, understanding uh, who they were, and then working together to, to solve problems and, and to grow. And I think that's what he did at Associated Food Stores. Bob Obrey was really respected in the industry, and that says a lot. Bob was not an individual who came up through the ranks of the grocery business. But even though he didn't come up through that traditional system, he was well respected in the industry. He had a keen mind. He had an enthusiasm about uh, the grocery business that was truly infectious. One of the, the hallmarks of, of Bob's time here at AFS is, is about alignment and inclusion. The whole concept that we like to talk about here at, at Associated Food Stores of one AFS or one Associated, that really speaks to who Bob is. It's all about alignment, working together, pulling in the same direction. And I think that's how the team here would view Bob as somebody, a, a unifier of sorts, someone who brought the team together and, and towards a common purpose. Bob was tremendously gifted. He was smart, he was articulate, he was kind. He was inquisitive, and at the same time, uh, he was very competitive. Uh, he was he was quite the could be quite the warrior. Bob definitely had a competitive streak, and and I think anytime you have somebody who's been successful, you have to be competitive in life. You know, you have to challenge yourself to be better. Even though he's very competitive, he never let it interrupt the relationship. He was always making sure that you were coming along with him. His competitiveness was raising you to another level of your ability. And he was witty. I mean, every time we got together, we just had a great time. Uh, there was lots of laughter, there was lots of joking, and uh, it was always just such a delight. You know, anytime you joke around with him or bring something up, he had a comeback, a really quick comeback, and you never seemed like you could catch him on his heels. When I think about Bob, the balance that he had in his life was amazing. He made it look easy to transition from his professional work life to going home to his family, to serving his community, his church. And this was week after week, and he maintained that balance with exceptional positivity. I think uh, not only was he a tremendous professional, but uh, he was a great husband and a great dad. And I was always uh, admired how Bob could uh, balance and be uh, so great at so many different things. We love to boat as a family. He definitely can surf. Uh, he can't do it unless his tongue is out of his mouth. He surfs with a very concentrated look, with a, a kind of a look like this. And uh, but he is, he's a good surfer. I was one of the people that introduced him to cycling. I had started cycling. Um, I rode the Logan to Jackson. Uh, road race, uh, introduced Bob to that, and then he just really adopted that, and that became one of his passions. Like everything he did, he became very good at it. Bob loved his family. It was evident in the way he talked about his children and their successes, and the things that they were each accomplishing. And he, he, you could tell that he very much uh, celebrated and reveled in their, in their achievements. The type of relationship that Bob had with his family is the type of relationship that I think we all wish we could have with our family. So the role that Jim played in Bob's life was a pretty pivotal one. She was the reason that Bob did everything 
that he did. He wanted to do anything he could to make sure that Jen had the best life that she could have. Every effort that he made since the third grade when he met her up until the day, his last day here, everything was about Jen. He could not talk enough about how important my mom was to his success. They were truly a team. Jen was Bob's best friend. They spent so much time together. They were such a, a great combination to uh, do the things that helped Bob in his career, but also most importantly to them was to raise their family and, and contribute to the community and, and uh, be examples to others. And it's really hard to accept the fact that his life was cut short because he had so much, so many plans and so much to offer and direction. And knowing that he's, he's not there for me to reach out to is, is tough. I felt, always felt like he genuinely cared about me as an individual. Uh, yeah, we had a professional relationship, but it never was just that. It was always personal as well. I knew that he cared about me, had my best interest in mind. He was willing to listen, you know, and uh, provide honest feedback. And, uh, and I missed that. Any big decision I was going through, he was the one I'd talk to about it. You know, he had valuable wisdom that he'd impart on me. Not having that anymore is, is really challenging. He was always about the long game. You know, he would sacrifice whatever he wanted today for something better tomorrow. And teaching us those principles, I'm gonna miss all that because there's not a lot of men like that in the world now. And Bob was really one of a kind.